what is going on? It's your boy Warren Brother. And we're back with some more Need for Speed No Limits. Episode 101. That's right. We had a 100 episode uh, last time. And actually it was pretty good. I actually did a premiere on it. You know. I you know, would have liked a bigger turnout. But hey. You know. I, I, I didn't expect that much of a turnout. But it's fine. Uh, that being said, before we continue, I'll check my analytics. Um, Got scrap for it. Other blueprints? Ooh. I think I could race and get those, so. Not worried about getting them from those. Blow off valve. I already have one. I don't need one. Do need hoses. Do need gaskets. I do need valve. You need a battery. This week, since ASAP Rocky came to the game and he done again, figured why not? Let's see. Also, 
um, in one of my comments during one of my shorts, uh, someone mentioned built and I still got quite a bit of work to do onto it as you can tell but definitely made a lot of progress with it it's 772 in performance and honestly she, she looks good I, I've showcased it quite a bit uh, earlier last month uh, due to, you know, Ken Block's passing and, you know, sort of a tribute to him, so. Let's see, what else? Speaking of Ken Block cars, I might as well do a little bit of work to this one. Is this a rebuild or no? Oh no, it's not a rebuild. It's for the turbo stuff. One of these is a rebuild. The other one isn't yet. Let's hop into the PVPs and get going. Hop in the driver division. So I must be an anonymous driver in a different country. That's one race down, five more to go in the Underground Rivals.
That's a good finish. Tiara 8-6, very nice. One thing I don't like, and I've mentioned this multiple times before, when someone has a car that looks stock on the outside, that isn't stock underneath the hood, like come on, that's the thing about cars, they're an expression of you, they're an extension of you, there's a lot to it, and I grant it's, you know, some things that people use their cars look just ridiculous, I'm not too but, at the end of the day, it's not my decision to do with your car. But all I do, all I do, do. that's my nice car. Make it throw in. Show some expression, don't be boring. Cars are there, point it for me. Get that. But at the end of the day, they're also an expression of you. That's why there's so many different cars. You know? There's literally a car for everyone. Every single type of person. Now see this I like except for the camber. The camber is just ridiculous. But other than that. I like the way he customizes his color. That, that's what I'm talking about. Make the car unique to who you are. Could have been a better run had I not lost so much speed, but still managed to get on a good time. Still got the win. So, you know, not disappointed about it. Alright, one more race in the Underground Rivals, and then we can move on to the next free crate and move on to tuna trials. Another one with a ridiculous camera. That's the thing about these BRZs and uh, GT86s. They really like to throw a ridiculous camera on it. But again, it's not my car. I can't tell you how to do it. I don't want to do it. Chest to redeem myself, yes. Uh, 273 miles an hour 
have a GT86 of all cars. Not bad. Plus five blueprints for the Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. One of my favorite Eclipses. It's actually my most favorite Eclipse. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's a shame. Because I do like the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Basically, every single generation ever since the first has just got progressively worse, in my opinion. You know, first you had the first gen Eclipse, which is... Well, just Italian stallion status, even though it's not Italian, but you know. And then you have the second gen eclipse, which was featured in Too Fast, Too Furious, and you know, it's not bad, but mm, it could be better. And then you have the third generation eclipse, which I liked it, you know. Again, could have been better, but you know, I, I liked it, it. And then of course when they discontinued it and then brought it back as a crossover and then I was just completely disappointed by them. You know, this is why Mitsubishi has basically fallen off as a car company. And I hate to say it. I really do, because I do like Mitsubishi. They brought they've made amazing cars. But they've been slacking. They've been slacking for at least two decades now. You know. They don't only have a sports car in that lineup anymore. That's you know, that that tells you right there how far back they fell. It's a shame. It really is a shame. But enough me talking shit about them. You know, maybe one day they'll revive themselves and bring back the Evo or bring back an Eclipse that's actually worthy. You know. Or hell, bring back the Gallant and make it into like, you know, a Maxima from like the first Fast and Furious, you know, something. Something to redeem themselves, something to bring back that spark, you know what I mean? But I'm just rambling on at this point. It's a really good run. Under 25 seconds. I find that a bit ironic. But then again, I did have a rolling start too, so. series before the next free crate we are flying through these races by the way like we are just rolling through 
Alright, so we have a Nitro Rush, our Airborne Race, and Hunter Race coming up. That was a good run. That was really quick. Camaro's got some speed and I barely put any upgrades into it. Yeah, two BMWs, two commands, okay. Two BMWs, one BMW, that's my bad. driving like that so retry
I really do like ASAP Rocky music in this game, or in this update. See some of the sickest stuff in the game. Like some real sick shit in a good way. Damn. Still got time for the next one. Might as well. Let's see about the next material. Need one. Oh, I know exactly why I need one. All right, we'll, we'll get that in a moment. So grab a free crate number three. Yeah, I know where it's supposed to go. Do I need a CPU? Eventually, actually, I yeah, will. Well, let's go to the garage real fast before we start making any more moves. Exactly which car it is, too. The Unicorn. Yep. There it is. And there we go. How far along for the turbo? There's a battery. So that means we won't need it no more. Yeah, I figured that. Drive shaft on the other hand. Apparently, I do need. Okay. So that's needed for that. See if we can get those blueprints for the Porsche Honestly, probably one of the cleanest runs I've ever had. Go middle. I'll take money. We need money. Chase the blueprint a little bit. Might. We'll see.
could have been cleaner. Could have been a lot cleaner. Let's go middle again. Let's go here. Just because. Because I know I need the blueprint, so I'm gonna, I chased it. I hate the fact that I just spent 120 gold like that, but at this point it's whatever. We'll get the gold back eventually. But I'll spend a little bit of time. seconds that was a good run one of the cleanest thing in the world oh yeah definitely had it oh come on that's that's highway robbery didn't even give me a chance to get one more blueprint nah, nah that was robbery I'm not gonna lie to you that was robbery I got robbed then. It's alright. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. one and the premium crate in the next episode. Ooh. Blueprint for the four five eight. Very nice. Alright ladies and gentlemen that'll wrap it up for this episode. Tune in next time for episode one hundred two where we do day three of the takeover live event. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining. Like and subscribe for more content. Also, for Formula One news and um, content, check out Driver 61, The Race, WTF1, and of course the Formula One channel. Also, uh, for Red Bull's uh, car launch, or at least, you know, for a little bit on it, I'll leave a link to the Red Bull Oracle uh, Formula One team. And also for racing game and general gaming content, I'll leave links to different channels in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining. 
much love, much appreciation, and I'm out. Peace.